Hi, my name is Tara Teeley. My husband Mark and I have attended Colonial's Overland Park campus for the past eight years. We now attend with our three little kiddos. We have Theo, who's five, Titus is three and a half, and our baby Cora will be one in May. A few months back, Jim did a sermon series on generosity. One of the ones in particular that stuck out to me was on hospitality. He preached about opening our homes and our safe bases to those around us in our communities and our neighborhoods. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I love people, but typically in small doses and not necessarily in my home. So this was definitely a challenge for me to hear that scripture or hear that uh, message brought to, to me that day. And by the time the sermon was over, I really felt the Holy Spirit putting it on my heart that I needed to start a Bible study in my community. So I got home and I texted one of my girlfriends who lives down the street. She's a fellow believer and I thought if I can at least get her on board, then I'll be good. We can get together, read the Bible, have a glass of wine, enjoy each other's company and we'll be fine. That'll be more than I'm already doing right now. So anything is positive. And she was so excited. So. I got the courage to text the other people that I knew of, and some I'm close with, some I'm not. I'm pretty close with the women in my cul-de-sac. It's a very multi-generational group of women. Some are empty nesters, some don't have kids, and some are just like me in the trenches with the littles. And I didn't know anybody's faith backgrounds at the time, but somehow God was working, and um, all but two women said yes, and that they were excited to come. So. Ever since Thanksgiving, we've been meeting on Tuesday nights and coming together in community to do a uh, discovery Bible study, which essentially is us asking three questions about any passage of scripture that we read, asking what does it say about God, what does it say about people, and how can I apply it to my life? It makes it very low cost of entry. It makes it very easy for people to say yes to coming just whenever they're free. Just come and be a part. So we um, have been very blessed to have this group. And it's been great to see just how the Lord is working because some women are like me where they've grown up in the church and they attend weekly and others haven't been to church in decades and there's everything in between. So our conversations are widespread and they're great. And we haven't seen a lot of fruit yet, or at least I haven't. I know that one woman is uh, was texting me about how she was excited and reading the passage ahead of time so that way she can be ready to speak to things when we met. And I don't know what God's going to do with it, but it's exciting to me um, to see just where he leads. And I never dreamt that I would be a person that would host a Bible study, let alone open my home to do so. But I, <laughs> I don't know. The Lord's working. And He's made it easy for me to say yes. And that was not something I anticipated. So it's been great to see how he's just bringing down my barriers and my walls that I've put up and helping me to get out of my own way to help others draw closer to God.